at the end of the day, it comes down to this. You need to make money at it. Yeah, it's fun doing it all day long, but it's no fun if you're not turning it all. For over 40 years, I've targeted flatfish, flounders. That's been our bread and butter. It was right around beginning of June, if I remember right, that the marketplace contacted me and said, the market for flounders has collapsed. Don't think about catching them, don't think about bringing them in. If you bring them in, they're probably gonna be sold for lobster bait, which you're talking 40 to 50 cents a pound. Well, it cost me 70 cents a pound to catch them. So we see where that's gonna go, so. Targeting flounders, your net is designed to catch those, not the other species. So my wife and I had to make a decision. We didn't know whether we were just gonna call it quits, which I'd have tried to find another job. Or... So we had to order a new net. It was quite an investment at the time, $8,000 for that net. And we've already put a ton of money in my boat. I had to replace a fuel tank. And getting a boat ready, an old boat like this, she's 45 years old, she's wooden. It takes a ton of money to get it ready every year. I probably wouldn't be here talking right now if it wasn't for Maine Coast Fishermen Association because they're looking out for guys like me. They're our voice at the end of the day. So they're helping us more ways than one. They're not only trying to help us on the water, keeping track of the rules and regulations of what's coming up next to keep us fishing, but also they're helping us financially. They've uh, developed this food bank where uh, it guarantees me a better price for my hate, which is the lion's share of my cats usually, most of my trips right now is hake. So that's big help. I hate to even say this, you know, there's three dragons left in this harbor right now, and there always used to be, in my lifetime, anywhere from 15 to 20 dragons. Groundfish boats like this. If you want to support the small communities like Port Clyde, I think it's very important that you buy our fish and that will guarantee this community will have access to the fishery 50 to 100 to 200 years from now. My name's Randy Cushman. I'm a fisherman out of Port Clyde, a ground fisherman. I've been doing this for over 40 years. I just love being there, I love being on the water.